Well, I was, uh, I had this great idea of uh, this movie um, in terms of the ancient mysticism of Kabbalah, which is that there are 36 people on this planet, and because they're alive, the world doesn't erupt into chaos. And I was surprised, I had taken a trip over to Israel, and I was surprised at how many people really believed in this religious belief. And I thought to myself, how amazing would it be if we had the ancient mysticism of Kabbalah and Judaism mixed with the spiritualism of Christianity, and we combined it in a very, very, very smart way and made a movie in which it was combined, in which it could be a scary movie that would invoke fear. And that's what we did by the making of 36 Saints. Well, I, w I wasn't interested in making a movie that was about gore. I'm not really interested in those kind of movies. Um, I was only interested in making a thriller in which um, it would make people think. And that's exactly what 36 Saints is. It's not your typical horror, cut off the arm, cut off the leg um, kind of film. It is a movie that, um, of course, has or evokes some kind of uh, scariness to it. And there are killings, but they're done in a way in which um, uh, the movie Seven was. And that's basically what 36 Saints has been um, compared to, a young teenage version of Seven. The, uh, the, the um, idea of the names and the saints of the kids, I loved that. I really loved researching that and combining it with the ancient mysticism of um, the ideals that there are 36 saints, 36 people alive, and that the world doesn't erupt into chaos in terms of being called the Lama Advovnik, and incorporating that in the part of the Talmud with the names of saints from the Bible, I thought it, was, it became a real passionate project of of, of uh, putting the two together that I thought was a lot of fun. Well, I think really by the tagline of the movie that um, you instill in it, are you one of them? And anybody could be one of them. And that is what's kind of the whole message behind 36 Saints is that um, the idea of um, that they don't know, they don't, the 36 Saints don't know who they are. And anybody could be one of them. It could be the maid of this hotel. It could be the bellhop. It could be the homeless man out on the street, right down the street from here. It could be you. It could be me. Are we one of them? How it all comes together. Any part of 36 Saints, any part of the movie that you Google or research, you will find to be true every part of the movie of 36 Saints. The names, the morals, the ideas, what happens, every single part of it is mystically true. Well, we've had great response. It's kicked off a couple of film festivals and people have loved it. Um, uh, we just recently played in Chicago at a sneak peek in Chicago to a, a great audience and they loved it as well too and were um, said that they were hooked right from the beginning as the hunt was on like who, who is it and the trailer the trailer speaks volumes for the movie you've seen the trailer the trailer is gets you, gets you hooked right away and the movie does the movie starts off really well and gets you hooked right away as well too and you go on this journey of who is it what happened is it this one is it that one and right when you think it's that person it's another person no, no, because it's based on the ancient, actually we showed it to a lot of Jewish communities and we had, I had many rabbis look over the script before we filmed it to make sure that the authenticity of what we were doing was absolutely true. And they said, yes, it's fearful to the community, but it's what, you know, we're, you're tapping into something that people just kind of mutter and don't talk about. Well, I had worked with Frankie G, who's the star of the film, and Jeffrey DiSerrano on Teo Poppy. And um, they play my sidekicks in Teo Poppy. And I always envisioned them as the police officers. And then what happened was, I once again, I used my casting director, Sig D. Miguel and Stephen Vincent that I always use in New York. They brought in six of the hottest, hottest, young, up and coming, talented young stars. Brittany Olford, Chris Ritchie, Alessandra Asante, Tyrone Brown, Matthew Daddario, and Asia Naomi King. And I mean, these kids are working like crazy and they're great, great talents. And we brought in old school, 
with Donna McKechnie, who um, had, is New York royalty, won a Tony Award for a chorus line, is just a legend in New York, and brought her in with these new, young, fresh faces. And, you know, we had magic together. We had old school with new school and these really cool concepts, and it all just seemed to gel and work together. And I wanted to keep it a small unit and keep it working and rolling out. The suspense, the idea, the idea of the, of the movie is phenomenal. The kids are amazing in it. And it's a suspenseful thriller. Keep you on the edge of your seat. I've jumped a couple of times. I, I, I'm not kidding you. The first time I saw it a couple of times, I've jumped. I think how we edited it and with the sound mix and um, with some of the things that happened in it, absolutely. I think the people we had involved did a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal job. And, um, uh, it did make me, it scared me. Yeah, I was intrigued.